वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एलिमेंट एंड कंपाउंड एंड गिव सम एग्जाम्पल्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड गेट एक्सेस टू आर हंड्रेड ऑफ यूनिक एंड सिंपल लेक्चर फॉर फ्री नो वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एलिमेंट एंड कंपाउंड वेल एलिमेंट्स आर मेड अप ऑफ वन टाइप ऑफ एटम्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर ऑक्सीजन ऑक्सीजन इज मेड फ्रॉम वन टाइप ऑफ एटम्स सो इट इज एन एलिमेंट सेकेंडली कंसिडर सोडियम इट इज मेड फ्रॉम वन टाइप ऑफ एटम्स सो इट इज ऑल्सो एन एलिमेंट थर्डली कंसिडर हाइड्रोजन इट इज ऑल्सो मेड फ्रॉम वन टाइप ऑफ एटम्स सो इट इज एन एलिमेंट वाइल कंपाउंड आर मेड अप ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एटम्स For example consider water we can observe that water is made from hydrogen and oxygen water is made from two different types of atoms so it is a compound secondly consider salt we can observe that salt is also made from two different types of atoms like sodium and chlorine so it is a compound thirdly consider sugar we can observe that sugar is made from three different types of atoms like carbon hydrogen and oxygen so it is a compound secondly there are only 118 types of element known to mankind for example oxygen sodium hydrogen and chlorine while there is no upper limit on the type of compounds because different chemical combinations of elements form different compounds for example when hydrogen and chlorine combine together chemically they form hcl or hydrochloric acid when hydrogen and oxygen combine together chemically they form h2o or water also when sodium and hydrogen combine together chemically they form sodium hydride thus we learn that the same atom of hydrogen chemically combined with other elements form different compounds thirdly we cannot split up element into two or more simpler substances by physical or chemical means for example if you divide the element of hydrogen you still get hydrogen if you again divide hydrogen again you get hydrogen so we cannot split up an element while we can split up compound into respective elements by a chemical means for example consider electrolysis process and this process water is divided into hydrogen and oxygen so by chemical process a compound is divided into its elements fourthly every element is represented using symbols for example hydrogen is represented by h chlorine is represented by cl gold is represented by au and oxygen is represented by o while every compound is represented by a chemical formula for example the chemical formula of water is h2o the chemical formula of table salt is nacl the chemical formula of sugar is c6h12o6 finally let me teach you a bonus question Why elements and compounds are pure substances? Consider a sheet of gold and water in the glass. The microscopic description of gold reveals that this sheet of gold is made from only one type of gold atoms, Au, and there is no other atom present in it. Gold is an element, so we therefore say that element is a pure substance. Secondly the microscopic description of water reveals that water in the glass is also made from one type of molecules H2O and there is no other molecule present in it water is a compound so we therefore say that every compound is also a pure substance to learn more about mixture and pure substances watch our next lecture and its link is given in the description This was all about the difference between element and compound.